What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Legacy and today we're gonna go to what I think of the top 10 counters for Nihilego Raid in Pokemon Go. Nihilego is a rock poison type Pokemon so it's double weak to ground, single weak to steel, water, and psychic but ground being double weak is just too good. Unless you have Windy Weather then maybe Shadow Mewtwo would be really good but outside of that always use ground. Alright, so it has three fast moves, which are Pound, Acid, and Poison Dash. So two Poison Fast moves and one normal move. And it has four charge moves. Rock Slide, Power Gem, Gunk Shot, Sludge Bomb. So two Poison, two Rock. So let's go with number 10 and I'll go over, you know, how each Pokemon does against each move. So we'll start with number 10, with, which is Theory and Lando. You want Mud Shot, Earthquake on this thing. So the Flying type, it hurts, hurts it here. So it's going to be Single Weak to Rock Slide and Power Gem. And then sing, uh, Single Resist. Gunk Shot and Sludge Bomb. So overall, okay, but the flying type, it really hurts it. But Lando's pretty solid. That's why it's all the way up here at number 10. Let's see when we get the Shadow Lando. That will change things. Or if it gets Earth Power. Number 9 is Garchomp with much of Earth Power. Now, this Shadow is coming out soon, so that thing's probably going to shoot up the list. Who knows how high it would go. Uh, the dra Dragon type, it really doesn't help us here. So it's going to single resist everything. Single resist, Rock Slide, Power Gem, Gunk Shot, and Sludge Bomb. So just overall solid. You don't have to worry about any of the moves with Garchomp. All right, now number eight is Rhyperior with Mud Slap Earthquake. Now, I gave Rhyperior the slight edge over Garchomp because uh, its rock typing helps it resist, double resist Gunk Shot and Sludge Bomb. And it's still going to single resist Rock Slide and Power Jump. I didn't even know rock resisted poison. I, I had no idea. Okay, so that's number eight. Now we'll go to number seven is Mamo Swine with Mud Slap High Horsepower. The Ice typing hurts it here with... Um, Rock making Rock Slide and Power Gem neutral. It's going to single resist Gunk Shot, Sludge Bomb. But High Horse Power just does so much damage. That's why you... Like, I think if Rhyperior had a better move, maybe that would change things. But yeah, High Horse Power is pretty solid. So Mamo at number seven. Now we'll go to number six. Shadow Galurk. I finally evolved one. So I have it here. Shadow Galurk with Mud Slap, Earth Power. The Ghost Typing doesn't really help it here. So yeah, it's going to... It's going to single resist the Rock moves and single resist the Gunk Shot and Sludge Bomb. Just a solid counter. The Shadow... Typing is really the shadow. It being a shadow is what really helps it out here. That's why it's all the way at number six. Now with number five is Groudon with Mudshot, Precipice Blades. It's pure ground type, so it's gonna single resist everything. So it resists Gunk Shot, Sludge Bomb, Power Jam, and Rock Slide. Just a solid counter, but you kind of need the Precipice Blade. Otherwise, it'll go way lower on the list. Now let's go to number four, which is Escadrill. Escadrill, so good. So yeah, Escadrill. It's uh. Double, I think, double resist. Yeah, double resist. Maybe triple. No, du double resist the poison moves and double resist the rocks. So, yeah, this thing is, is so good. I probably, I'm, th I kind of wanted to put it third on the list, but it, maybe I should, but it's, it just DPS wise doesn't have enough. But just if you're not trying to have a lot of feints, Escadrill's great. That's why it's all the way up there at number four. So let's go to number three, which is Shadow Mamo. Shadow Mamo is just, DPS-wise, it's a machine. I think people are going to try to solo it with Shadow Mamo. And that's why I kind of gave it the edge, just because it just it just does way more damage. Until we get Shadow Escadrill, who knows when that will happen. So yeah, Mud Slap, High Horsepower. So the Ice Titan, same thing as regular Mamo. It gets her neutral damage on Rock Slide and Power Gem, and then Single Resist, Gunk Shot, and Sludge Bomb. Now we'll go to number two on the list is Mega Swampert. Much of Earthquake. It's up here at number two. Because, does the water type help? It not really. So it's going to single resist everything. Single resist the Rock Slide, Power Gem, Gunk Shot, Sludge Bomb. But the Mega Boost is just too good. Boosting your partner's Pokemon by 30% is why it's all the way up here at number two. And now let's go to number one. Probably shouldn't be a surprise. It's Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon is so good. Obviously, Mud Shot, Precipice Blades. Being able to boost by 30% the entire way. You just put it at the back. It's going to boost the entire... Tire raid compared to where the mega has to be in the battle. The ground on doesn't have to be in the battle. You can just put it at the end of your battle party, and it's gonna boost your everyone else's Pokemon in the raid. So yeah, this thing is so good. Primal boost. I hope that we get more. Like I hope Mega Rayquaza gets similar to the Primal boost, but we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm looking forward to raiding Nihil Lego. It's the first time the shiny's out, so yeah, good luck to you guys. I'll try to host on the weekends. See if I can. So you guys can try to get the shiny here. That was the first time it's out. Again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'll see all you next time. Bye.